Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to calculate silotic coefficient in clustering algorithm with a simple solved example. In this example, we have been given four data points P1, P2, P3, and P4. P1 and P2 are present in cluster number 1. P3 and P4 are present in cluster number 2 over here. We have been given another matrix that is called as dissimilarity matrix. Using this particular data, we need to calculate the silotic coefficient for each data point. We need to calculate the silotic coefficient for each of the clusters as well as the silotic coefficient for the overall clustering algorithm in this case. First, we need to understand uh, how to calculate the silotic coefficient. To calculate the silotic coefficient, we need to use this equation. The equation is 1 minus a by b over here. Here, a indicates the average distance of a point all other points in its cluster. For example, if point P1 is present in cluster number 1, we need to calculate the average distance to all other points in the same cluster over here. That is nothing but A here. B indicates the minimum average of the distance of a point to points in other cluster. For example, let us assume that again P1 is the point which is present in cluster number 1. We need to calculate the average distance from this particular point to all other clusters and the one which is having minimum that will be the B in this case. Once you know the value of A and B, we can put those values in this equation so that we will get the silotic coefficient over here. Now we will calculate the silotic coefficient for each of these particular points. First I will consider the point P1 here. To calculate silotic coefficient, as I said earlier, we need to calculate the A and B. A is equal to the distance or the average distance from point P1 to all other points in the same cluster. So in this case, uh, apart from P1, we have only one point that is P2 in this particular cluster. So the distance from uh, P1 to P2 is uh, 0.1 because we have only one point uh, the divided by is uh, 1 in this case. So 0.1 divided by 1 is equal to 0.1 over here. Now value of B is equal to the average distance from P1 to all other uh, clusters. So apart from cluster number 1, we have only one cluster that is 2. We need to calculate the distance from P1 to P3, P1 to P4 and then we need to take the average and that will be the answer here. So P1 to P2 we have the distance as 0.65, P1 to P4 we have the distance as uh, 0.55 and we need to take the average so that's the reason I have taken divided by 2 which is equal to 0.6 in this case. Once you know the value of A and B, the silotic coefficient is equal to 1 minus a by b, 1 minus 0.1 divided by 0.6, which is equal to 0.833 in this case. Similarly, we can calculate the silotic coefficient for point P2. Silotic coefficient is equal to 1 minus a by b here again, a is equal to 0.1 again, because we need to calculate the distance from this particular point P2 to all other points in the same cluster. So how many points are remaining? Only P1 is remaining. From P2 to P1, the distance is 0.1 divided by 1 because only one point is there. So the answer is 0.1 over here divided by B. B is what? The distance from P2 to all other points uh, in the other cluster. Other cluster, how many points are there? P3 and P4. The distance is 0.7 and 0.6. So 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 divided by 2. Once you solve this entire equation, you will get 0.846 over here. Similarly, you can calculate the silotic coefficient for P3 here. In this case, the value of A is equal to 0.3 because the P3 is present in uh, cluster 2 and the other point present in this particular cluster is P4. So from P3 to P4, what is the distance? The 0.3 over here and uh, divided by how much? 1 because only one point is remaining. So 0.3 divided by 1 is equal to 0.3 divided by B. The value of B in this case is uh, 0.65 plus 0.7 divided by 2. That is uh, 0.65 is the distance from P3 to P1 which is present in another cluster. 0.7 is the distance from P3 to P2 again which is present in the another cluster over here. And once you solve it, you will get 0.556 over here. Similarly, we can calculate the silotic coefficient for P4 which is equal to 0.478 in this case. Once you calculate the silotic coefficient for each of these particular points, we can calculate the silotic coefficient for the cluster 1 by taking the average of uh, the points present in those particular cluster. So in this case P1 and P2 are present in uh, cluster number 1. 
the average of facilitative coefficient that is 0.833 plus 0.846 divided by 2 that is nothing but 0.84 here for cluster 2 0.556 plus 0.478 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.517 over here finally we can calculate the silotic coefficient for entire clustering by taking the average of silotic coefficient of individual clusters in this case we have two clusters 0.84 plus 0.517 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.68 over here so in this video i have discussed what is silotic coefficient what is the formula to calculate silotic coefficient and how to calculate the silotic coefficient for each of the points each of the individual clusters and how to calculate the silotic coefficient for the entire clustering algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching